some metal detecting here. See what we could find. Now I'm not really too sure. I've heard this used to be a hotel. It used to be a schoolhouse maybe. I really don't know the history. I just kind of saw this on the satellite image. But definitely an old building. Old Adobe. That used to be the old doorway right there. Yeah, a lot of brush in the way. Got a few more rooms inside here. Let me see the evidence. Looks like that one time it was nice, so it looked like it was plastered. Old chimney. Yeah. Cool. Actually, I didn't spot it before, but that definitely is the main entrance. It's got about three steps going up. Big, big doorway. Not much here, but a lot has grown, overgrown mesquite. So maybe I'll dry conducting in here, and it's a little bit in the shade anyhow. It's about 11 o'clock, so we'll give it a try. All right, I've been out here about 25 minutes. Got a pretty good signal. I did find this old old Quaker brand cap. That was a pretty good signal. But I think this one's a little bit better. So, yeah, let's see. A lot of iron in the ground still though. Yeah. Yeah, it's still kind of choppy. I'll, I'll dig it. Let you know what it is. Right, side of the hole. Sounds actually sounds a little bit better. Ah, there it is. Cap. Well, really didn't get much here on this side. I've been at it about an hour. So I'm going to try the other side. Here's the steps though, the main steps going in. Kind of cool. There's the framework. The big door. It looks like they probably had a window on top of the door. That metal detected a little bit in here, but it uh, looks like it had a lot of walls in here and the walls have fallen in, so I'm sure that was probably a wooden floor in here. Um, I'm not sure if I could, yeah, it looks like there might have been a, a wooden floor. Big doors there. Another big door here. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll hit this place out back here. Looks like that was a big door. Looks like that hard piping came in there. This might have been the restroom. See that these windows did have a mechanism to bring the window open. Got some airflow. You can see this adobe here. Yeah, some old adobe. But, I don't think this building was that, was that old. I did find a, uh, this here, which is a little modern light screw in. I just found the old well. There. It's hard to detect in here because it's so brushed in that you're having to bend over. But that's the well. Looks like they probably had a windmill. There's an old pipe. 
And then it's right over here where this watering trough is. All right, so I'll hit the other side about another hour and then I'll head out. I haven't found anything yet, but we'll see. Hey, you wouldn't believe the iron in this place. That's iron audio on. So I've got this set on standard coin setting. All right, so I'll head on over that way. Looks like there's something over there that might be of interest. Not sure what that was. Looks like part of an old car. It looks like an old fender. Kind of scattered around. I don't know if I mentioned it. Took about 25 minutes to hike out here. Well, I've been out here a couple hours. No coins today. I'll have to bring my caraisa. If there's coins out here, you'll find them. I'm back at the truck. And these are my finds. Not a whole lot. Yes, uh, these two bottle caps. It's that old Quaker brand. I don't know. I don't know of any Quaker brand that took a bottle cap. We had them, they're all boxes. Yeah, it's just an old light. Shotgun shell. This is kind of cool. At first I thought it was a ring, but I think it's a piece of copper with some wire wrapped around it. The usual bottle caps. Just got this because it's a thick, thick piece of glass, something else. It's this little piece of cup or something that says England on it. About it. No coins. Oh well. Next time.